Hey guys, what's up? I am back with another video. So in this video, we will be doing the speed test comparison between the Infinix Note 12 versus the iPhone SE second generation. And the iPhone SE second generation is powered by Apple A13 Bionic SoC with a 3 GP of RAM. Note 12 is powered by Helio G96 SoC with 8 GP of RAM. So on the back, we have a single camera versus a triple camera. So we have a 12 megapixel optical image separation mean camera. While on the Infinix, we have a 50 megapixel f1.6 aperture main camera. Then we have a 2 megapixel macro and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. And the back of the iPhone is made up of glass. While on the Infinix, we have a plastic back. And the frame of the iPhone SE is made up of aluminium. While the Infinix has a plastic frame and the Infinix has a completely flat frame. So which gives a more premium feel, I would say, in hand as compared to the iPhone SE and iPhone SE it is a really small phone and you can see also we have a fingerprint scanner on the side on the Infinix versus inside the power button on the iPhone SE old days is back so on the bottom we have headphone jack on the Infinix with dual speakers but no headphone jack on the iPhone SE and iPhone SE also has a stereo speakers so in this video I'm going to show you how much a difference between the Apple A13 versus Helio G96 and this video is made for fun it is not a head-to-head -head speed test so so now let's quickly boot both of these phones up at the same time so logo is came up first on the infinix infinix is running on android 12 with xos version 10 while the iphone se is running on ios 16.1.2 latest ios software apple a13 helio g96 so let's see who is faster. So the iPhone SE is faster when it comes to booting up. We have a one or two second difference between these devices when it comes to booting up. On the Infinix, we have 6.7 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED with 60 Hz refresh rate. Also, we have water top notch. While on the iPhone, we have 4.7 inch 720p Plus Liquid Retina IPS LC display with 60 Hz refresh rate. Also, we have home button and a big forehead. So, we have old 16 by 9 design language on the iPhone SE. So, guys, everything's closed up in the background. No application is running in the background. You can see the difference in the display sizes. iPhone SE looks really cute. So now let's open phone dialer. That is very similar. So now let's check out settings. That one, it is also very similar. So now let's go to the display. Both phones has a 60 Hz refresh rate, but we have AMOLED versus IPS LC display. So with AMOLED display, we also have always on display, which is missing on the iPhone. Now let's open Amazon shopping, Apple A13 versus Helio G96. So both phones is open the Amazon shopping at the same time. Let's see the scrolling and scrolling fees. I would say smoother on the iPhone because of its slow scrolling speed, but both phones it is on 60 Hertz. So that's really interesting. So now let's open this and that one it is faster on the iPhone. So this time iPhone is taking the lead. Now let's see Candy Crush Saga, Apple A13, Helio G96, so iPhone SE is faster, you can see, that's because it is little muffled on the iPhone SE because this is not a 100% ok phone. So Instagram, that one is faster on the Infinix, let's see Snapchat, faster on the Infinix, let's see Spotify, that one is faster on the iPhone, let's see Subwoofer. Apple A13, Helio G96. So iPhone SE is faster as you can see. So this time we have a one or two second difference. So now let's opening up the Temper N2. Let's see in that game who is faster. And again iPhone SE is taking the lead. This time we have a three second difference almost iPhone is done, Infinix it is also done as well. So now let's opening up the PUBG mobile. Big game, let's see in that game who is faster. We have Apple 4 core GPU. So iPhone SC it is done. Infinix also done as well. We have one or two second difference. Also in that game we have smooth graphics with extreme frame rate versus a smooth graphics with ultra frame rate yes and the game experience on the iphone se it is not really 
upgrade because of the display size as well as the battery size now let's opening up the router that one it is faster on the infinix now let's open zedge that one is faster on the infinix by a huge margin let's see the scrolling in that area iphone it feels a little more smoother because of its scrolling speed for both phones it is on 60 hertz but 60 hertz feels smoother on the iphone as you know so last time i'm launching the cameras on both phones default camera application let's see which one is faster so the iphone is faster as compared to the infinix so now let's look at the front facing camera and the front camera it is better on the iphone also the video performance it is excellent on the iphone se as you know so now let's see internet browsing speed i am seeing to for safari internet browser on the iphone versus a google chrome on the infinix so now let's open wikipedia.org that one it is faster on the infinix let's see scrolling in the start i notice little jitters again the scrolling feels smoother on the iphone because of its animation slow scrolling speed and this time both phones is open at the same time little jitters i noticed on the infinix next on the list is apple.com that one it is faster on the iPhone now it is also done let's see scrolling huge jitters on the Infinix so now check out RAM man so only have a 3 GB of RAM on the iPhone versus 8 GB of RAM on the Infinix so phone dialer refresh settings Amazon shopping let's see Candy Crush Saga Instagram Snapchat Spotify Subwoofer Temper and 2 let's see pubg mobile so opening up the twitter zedge and last way back to the internet browser that is also still there on both phones and cars over up to say regarding the apps opening speed as you can see that the apple a13 inside the iphone sc 2020 it feels faster in every single application in the boot up test as well as in games mostly but in system based application the performance it is pretty similar because of their animations on both phones but in games the difference it is real but not that big we only have a two or three second difference between the helio g96 versus the apple a13 so in terms of the ram wise in that area iphone se is performing excellent in the ram management while on the infinix we have one refresh we have 5000 mh battery size with a 33 watt fast charging while on the iphone we have 1800 mh battery size almost with 18 watt fast charging support but in the box we does not get any charger right now with this phone and that's about it and thank you so much and thank you so much for watching this speed test and do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below regarding between these two devices and follow me on instagram and twitter as well and i will see you in my next video peace out